Good morning. Guess who once again couldn't get up? <laughs> Heidi! I was up first. She took so long packing her bath. Mine's being ready for ages, look. That's like, actually... Position. To be fair, that's true. I mean, the pair of us just couldn't get up. Alarm went, turned it off, gone. It, it was, was really windy last night. It was a really windy night, yeah. Yeah, yeah we're having a bit of a problem with the zips. They're all failing on the tent. Yeah. And seeing we were still in Oregon and Washington to do, slightly worried. Yeah. Not, not, not like, oh yeah, I'm panicking. But it's a, yeah, I it's may have a look at REI when we go there. We can get a cheap tent for two man for less than a hundred dollars. We mm. may go for it, but it's just the bugs and stuff. I mean, every, everything. I mean, on on the bug nets of sips of failing. Mine works at the moment, but it's, it keeps on failing. Heidi's it's gone completely. Gone to me. Pretty the, much. The, door, the porches. They, they, they've been gone a long time, but now that the weather's turning again, that's starting to get slightly yeah. more concerning because if it starts to and rain... the repairs we did for the little holes are starting to come off. Yeah. And yet we're going into Washington, people say only get a, you won't get much rain, but we're quite late in the season. Yeah, in Washington it will rain. And yeah, and snow. Uh, well, so. ho hopefully we'll miss the, the snow, but we will definitely well, get the rain. we can get... Um, a cheap tent in the bucket. People return thing. This is one hell of a view over a volcanic landscape. Look at the, look at the plateau there. That's really flat. Nice. There's Jack giving us the finger. All three of them. A clear view of it eventually. Until then, there's trees. There we go. We're not climbing up today. Yeah, we decided not to climb up that three finger jack. But we're running out of time. We would, we would really. Yeah, obviously because. Yeah, I, I, I would, yeah. Climbing is our forty. Yeah. Uh -huh. We've been up Whitney. <laughs> yeah, this does look like a lot of scree to get to the top of these yeah, things. Yeah, a lot of scrambling. There's Heidi. And we're not even at Goat Mountain yet, or Goat Goat Rocks. I've just spotted a few little fellows up there. Like we've arrived at our water source. We might have to fight the frogs for it. Brian's talking to himself, not realizing that I've fallen behind. <laughs> what are you doing? So trip a lot? Yeah. As opposed to normally when you run around like a lunatic during our breakfast break. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Brian's back back to his desert tricks of uh, tripping a lot. That's why we just called him Sir Trip a lot. The long lost member of the round table. Oh yeah, maybe that's our water sauce. I mean we are back in very sandy sort of environment and there's a lot of that there stuff like this again you know tiny tiny rocks in exactly the same color as everything else hidden under the sand and he's just got a skill for finding all of them and tripping over them set up from our breakfast break I think this might be Vasco Lake down there very pretty and quite close to where we had water and breakfast 
spend far too much time yapping again with people. It's like we don't have to get anywhere. <laughs> yeah, thoughts are definitely starting to turn towards what happens after the trail. Now, when we were talking to Zepp and Sue down by the water source about house building, because <laughs> they're moving to Ireland when they're done with this. And um, Brian's got a drawer full of projects he wants to get stuck into. It's, we were talking about it the other day, it's like, we're ready to go home now. We're not ready to quit, but we're ready to go home, if you know what I mean. It's like, obviously, we're going to see this through. And we're still enjoying the hiking. But, yeah. Part of us wants to be back home now. And, you know, get on with life, I suppose. <laughs> uh, we just uh, met a ranger for our lunch break. And a very nice person he was. Yep. They generally are if you don't behave like dicks around them, but yeah, that's a separate issue. Um, but he told us about a fire, and uh, we've just seen it now. Only some through hikers called it in. There it is. They've been flying suppressants over it and everything in the morning. We saw these planes earlier going like, oh gosh, they're a bit low. And weird looking planes, and now we know what they were. This little butte just literally flew over our heads and landed right in front of us. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. On top of another ridge. Still a wee bit windy. Oh, look at that nice mountain. Look at that nice wife. What mountain's that? She's getting a map out, so bear with us lads and girls. She doesn't think she's got it. How disappointing. So we have since figured out that this is in fact Mount Jefferson. Who'd believe it? A based, bird walk flying away there. Based on Brian expanding his map and me remembering that we actually are currently hiking through the Mount Jefferson wilderness. It's amazing. I mean, we should be detectives, really. Yeah, yeah, we're the so skills, smart. The skills we have. <laughs> so smart. <laughs> Getting quite close to Mount Jefferson now. campsites here but it's a bit early for us to stop. I have not had a good day mileage wise we're feeling don't know a bit lethargic today. Me especially um, so we're gonna contemplate what to do. We've got to get to Shea Lake to pick up some water and then we'll have to see. We've got to get one mile past Shea Lake because there's a camping exclusion zone. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see. Okay. We might have to do a bit of night hiking tonight. Okay, we made it to the water source. Just. <laughs> the water is stewing because it's lake water so we put tablets in again. And we're having dinner here. Um, because this is this is still part of well this is part of the the, uh, the restricted camping zone, so um, <coughs> so yeah we're gonna have dinner while we're waiting for the water to do its thing and filter it and all this Eating kind of stuff. Eating bird food. Eating bird food. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna camp out for um, hike out for about point eight. To where there's a to the end of the restricted series. <laughs> Bad speed. Mm. Let me finish my sentence before you make me laugh. Yeah, to the end of the restricted zone where there is a campsite. So, so we might arrive there in the dark, but you know it's only point eight. Yep, we're definitely cutting all this, pitching the tent in daylight thing a bit fine. Finished our dinner. 
kind of running to get out of this area now. To where it's legal to camp and hope that there's still spaces there. And I don't know why I'm still filming, you can't see a damn thing. <laughs> got up a little bit later than intended. I could just make that a title card. We got up later than intended. It's the same every day. Anyway, got up from our nice little camp spot and started hiking. It's a, again, a fairly straightforward hike. <coughs> Climbing up to the bottom of Three Finger Jack. You'd see it from early on for a bit and then you, you sort of traverse it right underneath it. This is where the rocks, the rocks, the goats were. Um, yep. Got to this pond where I think we had breakfast. And um, yeah, there's not much to be said about that day, this day's hiking actually. It's, it's all very straightforward. The, the lakes were pretty, as I said, I mean, Rockpile Lake specifically doesn't deserve that name. It's a very pretty lake. <laughs> And, um, and it's all sort of, again, reasonably flattish hiking into hmm. yeah, that's correct. the shale lake, oh, a lot of shadows here, sorry, the shale lake. Uh, restricted camping zone. We had dinner at the earlier of the two lakes. The, the bigger one actually was that lake was totally dry. It was just a puddle. So we had we had dinner here because we were starting to run out of daylight, and um, we knew we had to make at least another mile to get out of the the area, uh, which we did. But in the dark, <laughs> with our headlamps. And luckily, um, so I will show you tomorrow when there's actually light. The uh, it's it, there's a lot of camping. I'm just trying to figure out where it is. It's 23.8 because for some reason it's not on the half my map, so it's somewhere here. Where the you'll you get to the sign saying oh end of or you know end of the, that's what it is. The, Pamelia limited entry area. So the end is there and then literally sort of 10 foot later is where all the campsites are. <laughs>